Welcome to the Stinky News Network. I'm your host, Whiff Stinkington. Today, Max the Mole is bringing us a special report with the winner of the Nose Bell Prize in Smelly Science, Dr. Spellbert Einstein. We'll find out why some things smell good and other things, well, why some other things smell bad, like me. Hmm, you get used to it, trust me. Well, Whiff, I'm here with Dr. Spellbert Einstein, winner of the Nose Bell Prize. So, Doc, you're the brainiac. Maybe you could put us in the nose, or should I say, <laughs> nose. It looks like this. When we breathe in, we inhale parts of objects around us. Apple pie, for example. I've never seen apple pie floating. That's because the parts you inhale are molecules so tiny you can't see them even with a magnifying glass. Groovy! Little pieces of pie float up into your schnoz. Then what? They're carried up your nasal passages to something called the epithelium, right below me, the brain. The epithelium has millions and millions of scent receptors on it. They recognize the type of molecule and send a signal to me. I decide what that signal means. If it's safe to eat, I'll tell you it smells good. When things are bad for you, like meat, fire, or dangerous chemicals, I warn you by making you think they smell good. Of course! Well, Whiff, ah, ah. there you have it. Our clever brains have evolved to make us think that good things smell good and bad things smell bad. I can do times tables, too. One times one is... Ah, uh -huh. groovy, Dr. Einstein. Back to you, Whiff. Thanks for watching SNN. Now my brain is telling me it's time for a nap. Smell ya later. Mm.